Hey, y'all. Let's talk about corn. Tomorrow we'll talk about beef. Next week we'll talk about chicken. Today, we'll talk about corn. So go to Google Classroom, open up the new spreadsheet entitled Corn, Beef, and Chicken. And let's take a look see. Boom. Looks like this. Okay. Uh, the I have here laid out for you the top 20 states, in, corn producing states in the country. And that is by number of acres that they plant for corn, designated for corn. And you can see the top 20 right there. And then I have the actual area of those states. Because if we just look at the total acreage planted, some states have more acreage available than others. So I want to do a similar idea as what I did with like Anthony Rizzo and his home runs. I just don't want to look at his home runs. I want to look at his home runs for plate appearance. Here, I don't want to just look at acres of corn planted. I want to look at the uh, percent of the state that is dedicated to corn. And then we could also look at like corn production, which is pretty similar, you know, it varies from state to state, but it's it's pretty similar in how many, how many bushels they produce per acre. Uh, but let's take a look. So here's what I need you to do. In this first cell, which is yellow, so that means you got to do something in it, type an equal sign, and then click on Iowa's uh, acreage. Now, this is per 1,000 acres, by the way. So this 12,000 times 1,000, and you're looking at 12 million. Okay, so it's 12 million acres. Uh, click that cell, and then we're going to divide slash by the area of that state. Click, hit enter, and notice I've already designated this cell. I've formatted it to be a percentage already. So that is a decimal that has been formatted into a percent. Okay. Now let's say I want to do that for all 20 states. I don't want to just keep typing or clicking this cell divided by this cell. So remember what to do. You take and hover over the little blue box in the corner, get your crosshairs up, and then click and drag all the way down through the uh, Mississippi. Boom. And it auto fills with the other percentages. I love that feature, by the way. It's pretty sweet. It just still just makes me happy every time I do it. Okay. So we have now a better comparison of states. Like here, like Iowa is clearly number one in uh, acres planted, and they're also number one in per the percent of the state that's covered by planted corn. Uh, whereas Indiana was fifth on the list. But over here, percentage-wise, they're third, okay? So it does change the game a little bit. Not much, but it does change a little bit. You can see it, it bumps up Ohio as well. Uh, they're down here around, like, looks like number eight or nine, and they would move up into the four spot or the five spot, okay? All right, let's go down here and figure out the mean, which is the average. So equals average. Type the word, start a parenthesis. And then you can just click and drag a box around those 20 cells and hit enter. 9.56% is the mean. If you just go down a little bit further, you can see the boxes I have designated for standard deviation and a couple of questions. So for standard deviation, let's put it in this one here, equals, remember the shortcut is S-T-D-E-B. Uh, but look what we have here. Is this a sample or is this a population? Okay. Well, there's 50 states in the country, so this is definitely just a sample. It's not the entire thing. We're leaving out 30 states. So in your drop-down menu, uh, you should standard deviation of entire population, standard deviation of sample. Okay, That's what we want right there. Click. And then we can either select the same 20 cells. You guys know you can actually type the like what the cells are called as well. That's another way to do it. Okay, Enter. The standard deviation is 9.75%. All right, let's use that and analyze some data. So I would like this one sigma to be equal to the addition of the mean and one standard deviation. Now, follow me here. I did this one already. You have to add uh, the decimal, so 0 0.0975, which is 9.75%. Okay, so add that on, and it will do it for you. But they don't have to do it again. Remember, you can just click and drag and make this thing work for you. Boom, boom. There we go. And now we're all the way out to three sigma. And you're going to subtract and go the other direction. And then we'll take a look. Equals U minus 0 0.0975. I don't know why that one's bold. And click and drag going this way. Okay. That's the end of phase one. 
All right, now that we have the spread of the data, we can answer these two questions uh, off to the side. It says, how many states are above two sigma? And two sigma is 29.1%. Okay, so how many states are above 29%? Oh, look at us, Illinois, woohoo! One, and I was two, and that's it. That's the list. So we have two states, Iowa, Illinois. Oh, yeah, we produce the corn, baby. We produce the corn. That's right. How many states are below negative one sigma? Uh, zero. That's an easy question. Boom. Because one standard deviation on that side of things already takes you into the negative and you can't produce negative corn. At least not that I know of. You can produce no corn. Okay, moving over. What do we have going on over here in regards to corn? So here we have the amount of corn that has been produced in the last 20 years. Put myself over there. Uh, so back in 1999, we produced 9.4 billion bushels of corn. That's a lot. And as you can see, it's kind of fluctuated up, down, up, down, up, down with a high of 15.1. Currently, last year, we we're sitting at 13.7. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this data and do your steps, mean, standard deviation, be able to fly through this now. Type average. Enter. You know you can round things too. Uh, so in the sheet, I don't I don't want this to be, you know, seven decimals long. So you can use these little, uh, you know, shortcut buttons. Boom, get it all the way down to the tenths place. That's kind of nice. Standard deviation equals S T D E P. All right, population, sample. Well, this is not corn production for the time since we started planting corn. I think I'm gonna go with sample again. All right, so S. Click, drag, enter. hey -oh. I don't think that's supposed to be a percentage. No, you're not a percentage. Format. My bad. So if you need to change the formatting, I'm just going to tell you to do this because uh, go to format number and you can have it just be a number and not a percent. See what I did there? So click on the cell, format, number, make it a number. Okay. So the standard deviation is 1.92 equals 12.1 plus 1.92. Enter and continue that for two more cells equals 12.1 minus 1.92. Continue that for two more cells going that direction. Okay. Now, how many years are above two sigma, which is 15.9? Mm, nobody. Okay. That tells me that there's no outliers that the corn production's been pretty steady over the years. As you can see, it's been increasing overall. There, like I said, it's been up, down, up, down. But the slope of this trend line is definitely positive over the last 20 years. Okay, so we've been producing more and more corn. And you have to remember, these are in the billions of bushels. So you're talking 13.7 billion bushels. That's a crazy amount of corn. What are some factors that cause production to rise and fall? Okay. I'm not going to answer this one for you. I want you to come up with some reasons. Uh, I'll, okay, I'll give you one. Weather. Okay. Obviously, uh, it's rainy during the planting season. They can't plant as early as they want to. It's There's a drought in, during the summer, which affects the health of the crop, and you don't get uh, a plentiful of a harvest or a yield. There's lots of things uh, weather-related that can affect your corn production. Okay, so that's one. Can you think of anything else that's going on currently or has happened that would affect corn production? I would like you to come up with at least one more thing, but as many things as you can would be nice. Okay, uh, that's it for today's lesson. You're going to go to the Desmos. Also, there's one more question where I talk about factors, and I'd like you to answer that there as well, just so we can have a nice discussion during our message to students tomorrow. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my lesson on corn tomorrow. It's the beef.
Expo Factorium. Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. I'm good, man. I'm good. Teacher, duplicitous. What are you doing? Oh man, this is not good. I do have a lot of gray hair. Instructo disqualify No, 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 no. Finally, you're even quiet. Okay, fine, I'll do it.